7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie examining the pros and cons of this debate. Ali, you put it on Facebook. You got a lot of feedback. What are people saying? Yeah, I got a ton of feedback on Facebook. Some parents told me that they didn't want to track their children because they didn't want them to feel paranoid. They didn't want to be that quote unquote helicopter parent, if you will. But the majority of parents that did reach out to me did tell me that they do use these tracking devices. And there was a majority of reasons and a number of reasons why they did. It was more for safety. Um, just knowing where they are. Lori Carr uses the Life 360 app with her two teenagers. It shows her when they leave the house, where they are, how fast they're driving, and when they make it home. Instead of calling or even getting nervous, or oh, is he an accident, I could just look. As it turns out, this app works as a two-way street in this family. Sometimes I'll wake up on the weekend and no one's home, and I'm like, okay, well, where is everyone? So I can check the app and see that she's at the store. And my son is actually saw that I'm at the grocery store and asked me to pick things up. Parents on Facebook gave me a variety of reasons why they track their kids. The majority said safety, others said checking driving, and some parents said they want to make sure their kids meet their curfew. Many used the Life360 app, while others used Find My Friends through Apple. It allows you to share your location for one-time use or permanently. But the big question is, should you use these apps? So we just look at it as another option out there for parents, and it it's really a matter of personal choice. Sergeant Megan Lehman with the Troy Police Department says they have never had to use these apps in an emergency situation. They have other ways to track people down. While it is a personal choice, she warns nothing beats good communication and that these apps may not always be dependable. A technology can fail or your child could actually disable that if they're trying to deceive you. But that won't be the case for Miles. He plans to keep the app on his phone as he heads off to the University of Southern California in January. I like the security that it provides my mom. I know that she doesn't have to worry about where I'm at. All right, Ali, what were you getting in terms of feedback for the age limit for using these kinds of tracking apps? There really was no age limit. We were hearing from parents who said they had this tracking app on children's cell phone as young as nine to teenage years. And we even heard from some people who say they use these tracking devices for their parents. So it's not just for children. All right, Allie, thank you so much for that live report.